Welcome back to another video of Road to WWE 2K. When it first happened, I don't know what the hell happened to me. It felt like I'd been shot in the thigh. Jericho's got the walls of Jericho on the game! While one warrior mended his wounds, another shot the world as Chris Jericho made history. I love Chris Jericho. Rock and Stone Cold Y2J. Night to yeah. Undisputed champion. in the world reveled in his triumph a forgotten hero re-emerged to reclaim his place on top of the mountain it has been eight long months of hellacious rehabilitation just in case you've forgotten i am the game and you can bet your ass i'm back with a newfound purpose, Triple H dominated at the Royal Rumble, securing an undisputed championship match at WrestleMania against the brash, outspoken champion. I tried to tell you I was not a joke! I have beaten every superstar there is to be! And after aligning with Stephanie McMahon, Y2J appeared ready for the cerebral assassin, but no one should ever count out the King of Kings. If you make it to WrestleMania as the undisputed Disputed champion, unfortunately for you, it will be time to play the, the game. game. It's time to play the game. The game versus Y2J in Toronto, Ontario. The following contest is for the undisputed WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 272 pounds, Triple H. Triple H. Accompanied by Hunter Stephanie McMahon Henry from Hounds Winnipeg, Lee. Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds. The WWE Undisputed Champion. Uh, this Chris interest is a good Jericho. interest. One of my favorite interests. Jericho became the first ever Undisputed Champion in December. When on one night, he defeated both The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Y2J knows how bad Triple H's quad injury was. What do you think is going Why to didn't put nothing sexy on Stephanie McNan? Why they put the very rest of the outfit on her? Put her in the dress, a crop top with a goodie skirt. Accept it. And that's what it's all about. That's the. Let's get ready to whoop this nigga ass. As complicated as they get, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H won the Royal Rumble, giving him a title shot against Y2J. Triple H and Stephanie, who have been having marital troubles, one has to imagine that Stephanie's presence at ringside is a significant disadvantage for Triple H. Well, the man threw his marriage away, JR. A lot of people call Stephanie evil, but let me just tell you, evil doesn't look that good. Give me a break, King. Stephanie McMahon is a Jezebel, plain and simple. Have you forgotten that she and Triple H planned the entire McMahon Helmsley era, unsert power from her own father, then toss Triple H aside once he got injured? Sounds like a good businesswoman to me. The game, pulling a page out of Rick Flair's book with a figure four. Hey. Really, Stephanie, eyes straight. Triple 
Come on, we gotta beat this nigga. Come on, where you going? Come on, man. Come on, shot three. championship is on the line here at WrestleMania 18. I think I see a look of concern on Stephanie's face. This can't be how she expected the match to go. Stephanie got herself into this mess, conniving and scheming behind the back of her husband. You have to understand. Another suplex, standing suplex that's going to break it. Back to flex. A crippled man got brought through a table. I think one man's career is destroyed as well. This could very well be the last time that we see the game in a WWE ring. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. in trouble. Oh, look at the emotion. Suck it. Suck it again. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Oh, lights out. Oh, he's in trouble now. Suck it. Y2J Chris Jericho. Here is your winner and new undisputed WWE champion. I want to know who is the new undisputed championship at the end of the Triple H off. Nobody was more excited to see HBK return to the ring than me. John Michaels is the world's champion. Do you believe in miracles? A lot has happened. That's a favorite wrestler. The heart break kid. Ace BK. Come to this ring 
and speak to me face to face. Ask and you shall receive. I wanted to be just like you, Sean. Pretty soon people were saying that I was going to be the next Sean Michaels. I grew out of wanting to be the next Sean Michaels. And I concentrated on becoming the first Chris Jericho. Oh my yeah. God! A tear shot right to the face of Sean Michaels. You tried to be the hero one too many times, Michaels. Look out! responsibility for his actions. I am better than you, Sean. A man doesn't hide underneath the ring and jump another man from the heart. I'm more charismatic than you, Sean. A man looks the other man in the eyes. I want to end your career at WrestleMania. Chris Jericho, oh. get ready, because I'm coming to fight. Do you want to face the heartbreak, kid? Or do you want to die? Choose wisely. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. What a night this could be, King, for Chris Jericho. He was the first undisputed WWE champion. A kid that was actually born in New York City, and he grew up his whole life as a WWE fan. The one star his whole life that he emulated from day one is his opponent tonight. There we go. From San Antonio, Texas, uh. waiting I know I'm sexy. I got the looks that drive the girl wide. I got the moves that really move them. I just chill up and down the girl's spine. I'm just a sexy. That's it. Sexy. I make them weak. I make them shiver every time that I come around. You hear me talk? You hear me talk? I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. Eat your heart out, girls. That's my favorite song. If one were to make a list of dream matches, this one would be very high on that list. I'll tell you, JR, Chris Jericho has done everything he can to antagonize HBK. I mean, he went from telling him how much he idolized him as a kid to seven. You gotta wonder if HBK's entrance with all the pyrotechnics with these 54,000 plus fans on their feet is all getting in the head of Chris Jericho. No, oh, I don't think you have to wonder. Chris Jericho feels that he's more charismatic than Shawn Michaels. He feels that his skills have surpassed those of Shawn Michaels. But when you hear 54,000 people roaring and standing on their feet for Shawn Michaels, it's got to give you a second thought. Shawn Michaels has made a career of being in this situation with his back against a wall, competing with the best of the best on the grandest stage of them all. And yet he always finds a way to overcome any obstacle. Well, they don't call him the showstopper for nothing. But at this point, I think HBK should just be happy to escape with his health, let alone his career. Missed him. Michaels reverses it. Oh, 
And there's a reversal. A shot to the good. Shawn Michaels was at one time one of the most controversial figures in this business. He has had many life-changing situations. Today, he is a role model. He is a man that takes every day and counts his blessings. But boy, does Chris Jericho... opportunity to further establish his legacy you've been around jericho enough jr to know that if you're not talking about him he ain't listening y2j goes to lover's lane by himself i mean he's full of himself simply put he believes that he is better in every way than sean michaels sean michaels every time he has to get up it takes more and more effort by Shawn Michaels. You can see the pain shoot through the superstar's body off that slam. You're not. You're wasting nothing on going like this. You guys go do that. What we have here is a match where it's not about being the number one challenger or the champion. Michaels moving in. Look out! Oh, the tide of this match has just turned, JR. Chris Jericho is a world class athlete, no question. Oh, wait a minute. Is impersonation the most sincere form of flattery? Not when you can do it better than the original. Sweet chin music. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. to be shown here. No block. No one can move as quick or with as much agility as Shawn Michaels. And moves like that exemplify what I'm talking about. And there's that sweet chin music. They may have just played him to sleep. Could this be it? Here's two. Here's three. Jericho and I dare say Shawn Michaels will never forget as long as they live. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Look at this. I don't believe it. But I'm damn sure proud to see that. Never trust those young lions. <laughs> Did he just hit me in my nuts? Now you talk about being a When Stone Cold Steve Austin walked away from WWE, shockwaves vibrated the foundation of the company. Seven months ago, I told my boss Vince McMahon to take this job and shove it, but Stone Cold Steve Austin got tired of sitting on his ass at the house, and everybody said, Austin can take his ball and go home. But when the rattlesnake finally returned, he didn't come alone. <laughs> Before the bionic redneck could reclaim his superiority, another go over the can of whoop ass. Legacy. Austin, do you remember the last two times you went one on one with the great one? I whipped your ass not once but twice. The Rock has done it all in this business. The incomparable people's champion. He's a, a leading man in Hollywood. Right. The one thing that The Rock has not done is whoop that ball candy ass at WrestleMania. The stage was set for the greatest rivalry in WWE history to enter Act 3.
It's not like a cancer in the soul of a rock. He has never been stone cold at a WrestleMania. It'll be the rock. It'll be Austin one on one at WrestleMania. The following contest is the, the, the rock. for one fall. Introducing first, from Miami, Florida, weighing 275 pounds. Not the bomb of bull. From Victoria, the, Texas, weighing 252 pounds. The superstar. Celebrity. The rock. For the third time at WrestleMania. It's The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. If this match is in on WWE 2K20, 2K16. This is the last match that Stone Cold did. With Stone Cold Steve Austin being named Superstar of the Decade by the WWE fans. Stone Cold is right in the middle of showing his appreciation to the, these two have battled for the better part of eight years. Austin hosts two. WrestleMania main event victories over The Rock. Will Austin make it 3 and 0 oh tonight? Well, The Rock will do anything. I mean anything to make sure he comes out on top tonight. This is one of the great rivalries that in my 30 years in the business I've had the privilege to witness. I don't think The Rock can look back on his career with a clear conscience if he can't beat Stone Cold Steve Austin tonight. I really don't. What it is the, the rest of the main return. And that one hurt his hand. This is hell of a time moment. Austin's body has got to be wrapped in pain. But inside that ring, he'll never quit on you, folks. Stone Cold has never quit on any of us in his entire life. Yeah, but this is WrestleMania, and The Rock is determined to beat Stone Cold at WrestleMania. Stone Cold may have to quit tonight. This may be the start. The words, I quit, do not exist in Stone Cold Steve Austin's vocabulary. They didn't at WrestleMania 13 against Bret the Hitman Hart, and I can't see it happening here tonight. Well, by the end of tonight, we'll know for sure, JR. Whoa! from the Brahma Bull. What an exclamation point. The Rock just measuring him here. Looking for the rock bottom and the pinball. Better. What you need it for? Right here. Okay. Think is jealous of the fact that The Rock's a movie star? Stone Cold Steve Austin is a wrestler. That's what Austin's wanted to be all his life. And that's what he is. Steve Austin is a wrestler. As intense as any wrestler I've ever seen. I certainly applaud The Rock at being multifaceted, at being a star in Hollywood. 
Crowd. I just don't think Crowd. that our fans share that sentiment. Well, The Rock has proven that he can Crowd. do it all. WWE, movies, Crowd. TV, you Crowd. name it. The Rock Crowd. is the total package. That very reason might be The Rock's undoing, King. Great reversal by Steve Austin. He's having a seriously hard no, time please getting don't back hurt to his feet me. after that. Big right hand by Austin. He's really poured it on. And a kick. When Austin returned to WWE, the Rattlesnake promised. Oh, look at The Rock. Those Hollywood good looks. I don't think Austin cares much about The Rock's good looks or his Hollywood career. Tonight is about People's elbow. People's elbow. People's elbow. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. One. Two. Oh, Jesus. Kicks out at two. Almost the look of disbelief in the eyes of Stone Cold's opponent. Okay. Okay. There's a cover. Two. And he kicked out. Austin doesn't get to oh. He gets mad. He was able to reverse and get out of that. Oh. I thought I was going to do something. Why do they put it be backward? Turns it around on him and what a move. Drop kick. Yeah, that's the first well, the crazy drop so kick. And there's a quick kick. Another shot with the boot. It's like hitting a tree at full speed. The eyebrow. One, three, come on. He kicked out again. Man down, man down, big time. Oh. I thought I might have got the power. Here's three. He got it. He got it. At least I still won. Okay. It could be locked. Since heeding the call by Vince, <laughs> <Man, laughs> that thug never said, that thug never said, thug a nomic. Is John Cena? You can't see me, nigga. I do not back down from any challenge. I fear nothing and regret less. And I am right here. And at the Royal Rumble in 2004, Cena would prove no different. Who's it gonna be? So, I think you're untouchable. Business has picked up. At the Royal Rumble, everything was going John Cena's way until he ran into a giant. Big Show. Oh. Big Show eliminated John Cena. But a determined Cena wouldn't stay down for long. So it's time we settle this U.S. title. You and me. WrestleMania 20. I accept. Oh, it's on! Wow! You got the franchise player on the Super Bowl stage. So get that gorilla big show out of his cage. I'm gonna walk in the United States champion. And whether you can see me or not, I'm gonna walk out the United States champion. I doubt it. WWE's newest rising star, John Cena versus the largest athlete in the world, The Big Show. Well, is the gorilla. It's the big fat gorilla now. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the U.
Weighing in at 500 pounds, he is the United States. It's John Cena versus the Big Show for the United States Championship. This is the first time the United States Championship has ever been defended at WrestleMania, King. Well, John Cena has been delivering a near steady stream of insults toward the Big Show. And that's a tactic that might just backfire if Big Show gets angry enough. John Cena has really surged as of late, King. But has Cena bitten off more than he can chew here tonight? Well, these two have battled, King, plain and simple. Does John Cena have a chance to win here tonight? Well, I think John Cena has a chance. But in my opinion, I don't think John Cena's going to win. But that's just my view. I mean, John Cena's a world-class athlete. He's on the rise. John Cena has to try and chop down the Big Redwood Big Show. It's important to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the Big Show has been in many high-stakes battles in his career. This is not the Big Show's first barbecue. That's right, JR. The Big Show has basically faced everyone there is to face. And that's a huge edge in a match like this. Yeah, you see the change right there. No, you see the change. Oh, he goes down hard. Cena countered it. Yeah, yeah hurt Bowman. He's really going for it now. Bam! A heap of impact delivered with that elbow drop. Bam! John Cena looking for his first taste of championship gold tonight at WrestleMania 20. Oh, Big Show needs to stay focused and regroup. He needs to rely on his power and stick to his game plan. Show's not out of this match. Not yet. You can never count out the Big Show. He has so many ways to punish you inside that ring. Plus, the man's a legitimate giant. Cena hits the five double shuffle. Tremendous reversal. And down he goes. Look at him unloading with the Thez press. John Cena is doing the unthinkable. And the Big Show has got to be worried. Oh, man. I don't think anyone expected John Cena to step up to the Big Show like this. The Big Show must do something. That's it. He's out. Here's One. Press. Two oh, is up. Not Show's over. Not done yet. John Cena getting a chain in hand. He can't use this. Cena's going to get disqualified. What's your obsession with the title anyway? You can't be cheating like this. The referee doing the right thing. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, no, no. John Cena, the nuts in his hand off the skull of the Big Show. Uh-oh, Cena's going for it again. Attitude adjustment. One, two, three. Ergonomics, nigga. Here is your winner and new United States champion, John Cena. John Cena has done the impossible. John Cena has slain the giant to win the United States championship. He needed the brass knuckles to do it, though, JR. I mean, it is WrestleMania, and I guess whatever it takes, but. Well, this is spinning. Spinning one. At the 2004 Royal Rumble, Bill Goldberg's WrestleMania dream is severed by an envious beast. Brock Lesnar! Lesnar's not in the Royal Rumble match! That's five's coming! Until an unlikely source delivers an opportunity for retribution. You know, SmackDown's got a pay for you coming up to San Francisco here in a couple of weeks. Got no way out. I thought maybe I'd give you this ticket. You take this ticket, Bill, and you're sitting on the front row watching Brock Lesnar. 
Yeah. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And there he is! Goldberg has crossed the barricade! Goldberg just speared Brock Lesnar! Gotta be kidding me! Eddie Guerrero has the champion! It's Goldberg versus Lesnar, and Austin's a guest referee at WrestleMania! Oh, God! Oh, it's Brock Lesnar! What the hell is going on? I cannot believe this! Brock Lesnar and Brock Stone Cold Steve Austin! If it wasn't for Stone Cold Steve Austin giving Bill Goldberg that ticket, I would still be the WWE Champion. Lesnar's been in possession of Austin's ATV. I'm bringing you Stone Cold! Come and get it! This has got the ingredients for an explosion. First off the steel post. What the hell is Stone Cold Steve Austin going to do Sunday when he is the special guest referee for Brock versus Goldberg at WrestleMania? Okay. Okay. I'm back. Okay, it's time to do Brock Lesnar Please versus Goldberg Part One. Goldberg played on the longest yard. And here we go. Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Goldberg. A match I never thought I would see. Goldberg has some real dislike for Lesnar. These two never really got along to begin with. But when Brock interfered and eliminated Goldberg from the Royal Rumble, well, he may as well paint a target on his back. Fine. Then interfered in Lesnar's match. But the Alabama star. Lesnar is a former University of Minnesota Golden Gopher, the 2000 NCAA heavyweight champion. Lesnar is clearly the better Matt wrestler in my view. Well, unfortunately, Brock Lesnar's not wrestling a Matt right now, Jr. He's wrestling Goldberg. Bill Goldberg. One of the standouts from the old WCW is not known for his technical prowess or amateur wrestling acumen. Oh, that's putting it kindly, JR. Goldberg personifies the term ground and pound. Damn. Okay, my butt whoop. He's enjoying this. Oh, Berg, you're too old Lesnar to be wrestling. With that quiet seething. Both these men are world-class athletes. Then there's Stone Cold again. Perhaps the straw that will stir the drink. No pun intended in this matchup. These guys are trying to intimidate each other. I don't think that's going to work. Do you, JR? 
I doubt there's a man walking the face of the earth, King, uh, that can intimidate. Why would they Brock put me Lesnar. against 90 overall? God dang, Brock Lesnar. He just reversed that with ease. It's the same person that beat the street. Stopped him dead in his tracks. He catches him with the axe handle. A clubbing axe handle. He catches him with the axe handle. Ah, come on, man. Stop reversing my guy thing going. Hey. Brock Lesnar just stalking Not. his helpless opponent here. Stalking him like the black hearted mercenary that he is. That's it. He's done. The shoulders are down and he kicks out. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Goldberg, the breakout star of WCW, seemingly having trouble with the monstrous Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. Yeah, it's I know it's about to get my back And here we go. Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg. A match I never thought I would see. Goldberg had Lesnar is a former University of Minnesota Golden Gopher. The 2000 NCAA heavyweight champion. Lesnar is clearly the better Matt wrestler in my view. Well, unfortunately, Brock Lesnar's not wrestling a Matt right now, JR. He's wrestling Goldberg. Bill Goldberg, one of the standouts from the old WCW, is not known for his technical prowess or amateur wrestling acumen. No, oh, that's putting it kindly, JR. Goldberg persona. Both these athletes are fearless. Certainly, Lesnar's conduct in recent weeks has been somewhat disappointing, to say the least. Rumors are running rampant that Lesnar is contemplating leaving the WWE. Sounds like some of these fans want to see Goldberg showcasing his hard-hitting, smash-mouth, slobber-knocking style. It's safe to say Lesnar isn't used to facing oh, someone who can that? deliver as much punishment as Lesnar can take. You gotta wonder, JR. Both these men have dominated their opponents during their careers. It's gotta be a shock to both guys to fight someone so similar in strength and power. Brock Lesnar is about... Blue chip as they come, but right now it's Goldberg who has Lesnar in trouble. Let me tell you, better him than me. Look at this. Time to hit you with the and he unloads with everything he's got. The reversal from Goldberg. And he strikes with a quick kick. And he strikes with a quick kick. What an impact from that kick. Oh, and another boot to the midsection. Over the top row. And he almost came down on the back of his head. Back into the ring now. That'll give you a big old goose egg. Oh man, that fall. That time I think he hyperextended his knee badly. Heading back into the ring now. Wow, that might have broken his jaw. Big right hand. Beautiful counter. A counter. Oh, and he lands that one right to the head. Big right hand, right to the chin. And there's the reversal. Bam! What a spine bust! Whoa! Whoa! It's Jack Hammer time. Because it's Hammer time, Hammer time, Hammer time, Hammer time. That's it. He's out. Looks like he's trying. Sending Raw proudly defeating Brock Lesnar with a spear followed by the 
jackhammer as the rattlesnake raises Goldberg's hand. There was no mistake about the three count. Emphatically, Goldberg hit the big three over Lesnar. And it appears to be a test of strength here. And that was broken up before it could land. What a rescue there. Whoa. Goldberg with all that intensity. Lesnar. A perfect stone cold stunner. <laughs> stone cold stunner. You got to stun everybody this year. End it. Because I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. Go ahead, the Rolling Stone. It's just 16 Austin. Get into the hell yeah. Austin sending a All we have to do is beat JBL. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. I think you really like it. It's for the WWE really Championship. Making his way to the ring from New York City, weighing 290 pounds. Are you from pounds, New York? The WWE you're a cowboy. You're from New York City. You're a cowboy. The challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 240. That's a shame. How you from New York with your cowboy? JBL, get your life together. JBL is the longest reigning WWE champion in the last decade. John Cena wants to put an end to JBL's championship reign. It doesn't get any simpler than that, folks. Yeah, but JBL has pushed Cena to this point. Cena won his WrestleMania title shot fair and square at No Way Out. And JBL has been a thorn in Cena's side ever since. That's an understatement, King. JBL cost John Cena the United States Championship and then destroyed Cena's custom-made Spinner Championship. John Cena has been waiting for this night for so long, and now it's happening. Oh, what a main event. He made that reversal look easy. JBL is no stranger to a WWE ring. He has fought wars in this ring, scratched and clawed his way to WWE Championship gold. And JBL will not give it up easily. Cena, in his first WrestleMania main event, looks incredibly motivated tonight. Tonight is the biggest opportunity. JBL, a self-made millionaire, hey, how do you think it says his he thing? needs to keep the WWE Championship. How do you think it his thing? Thing? Oh, He's oh, bringing his opponent oh, downtown that. on that one. Answer me that. This nigga got his signature. No, the shoulders are down, looking oh, for three, hit that. but he doesn't find two. He almost beheaded his opponent with that clothesline. Nice counter. Can't yeah, see me, boy. Cena hits the five knuckle shuffle. No block. Uh oh, look out! JBL, JBL. Well, there's no getting up from that. JBL tries for a two, and he kicked out. How does Cena do that? There's nobody else on this planet that can go like John Cena. You got to talk about the experience factor and how much more experience JBL has over J John Cena, doing all he can you to bring the fight to JBL. Cena is determined to become the right. WWE champion. I can't believe it! I thought I saw two go flying. JBL tries for an early. Oh man, I thought he had him. John Cena will never give up. I'm not sure John Cena can give up. If there's only fumes left in the tank, Cena will keep big time powerbomb. Oh, good point, good point. Cena's poised and at the ready. He's looking for that attitude adjustment. The attitude adjustment. We got One, two, three. three. He's done it. 
He kept on getting his finisher. What that was going? Nothing. Oh, we got JBL. Oh, the undisputed guy. Uh, it's WrestleMania 22 time. It's, oh, oh, this is my favorite one. We're going to end off on this one. This is my favorite one. This is an extreme rules match scheduled for one fall. This when the fire started. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York. Mick Foley. Mick Foley got a good entrance song too. This one is as elementary as it gets. Edge blames Mick Foley for losing the WWE Championship to John Cena on Monday Night Raw back in February. Now Mick was the ref in that match and afterward Edge attacked Mick and left him lying in the ring. The next week, the rated R superstar, Mick Foley, is no stranger to pain. I don't think he likes pain, but I don't think he hates it too much either. What's that? Once again, always the difference maker, Lita interfering in this big match. Big boo, Lita. Small body, but big boo. Small body with big boobs. That's a, that's a nice combination right there. Out on the floor and underneath the ring. There's no telling what's under this ring they are. Someone should have a search under the ring. There's weird things under there, I've heard. What a shot that was by Edge. And he strikes with a quick kick. And he hits the DDT. Just plenty. Just driving the head to the floor. That Kane's an effective weapon. Oh, that was brutal. Mick Foley has a long history of absorbing massive amounts of damage. His knees, particularly, are a well-known weakness. Yeah, but there's only so much damage a human body can take. Is Mick Foley even human anymore? Edge is no stranger to the physical toll that these types of matches can deliver either. Well, what that's a, true, JR. One thing edge. is safe to say. Matches like this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed Mick Foley in some of the most brutal matches one can imagine. He was thrown off the hell in a cell in Pittsburgh. He was thrown 16 feet through the cell to the ring on the same night. The man lost an ear in Germany, for God's sakes. After tonight, you can add Edge versus Foley at WrestleMania 22 to the long list of matches where Mick Foley has left a part of himself in the ring. Is that even something to be proud of, JR? Well, a normal man would say no. Absolutely not, King. Get up, get up, get up. Foley, get up. There you go. There you go. Is yeah. as sane as they come. Mick Foley, the WWE superstar, is a whole different animal. This thing between Edge and Mick Foley has escalated to a point where I don't think either man will be the same after tonight. Oh, man. I wanted to That's hit you. What is it? Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, right hand. Hand. Yeah. Okay. Well, that one floored him. Hey, he's going for it again. Him. Oh, did you see that, Ross? Now that's how you lay out an opponent. Spear, spear by Edge. And now Lita is saturating that table with lighter fluid. Oh my God! Here we go. Can you hear the anticipation growing here? WrestleMania King. I don't know if it's anticipation or disbelief. Watch it, Mick. Oh, no. Spirit time. Oh, 
Foley reverses it. Edge is getting close to the point where it's almost impossible in which to come back. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. Let me remind everybody, there are no countouts. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. On the verge of victory. A kick out, and he almost had him. Oh, Foley loves this kind of brutality. An attack like that is not going to keep him down. Those strikes from Edge are finding a home. Oh, my gosh. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Here's a cover. That's two. No, somehow. What brutality. While that would put almost anyone else away, you have to remember, this is Mick Foley. One. We got a cover. Yeah. There's two. Yeah. Are you kidding me? He kicked out again. Oh, he's putting those educated feet to good use. Slams him down hard, head first with the edge. He's got One, his shoulders two, planted three. to the mat. Finally. Oh my God! Do you smell that, Jr.? How could you not? Well, we got time for one more match. That's why you don't wrestle with your shirt off. I see clearly. Oh, it's Batista versus the animal. I mean, it's own the Undertaker versus the animal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, from Washington, D.C., weighing 290 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion. He looked like you from Washington, D.C. And introducing the challenger from Death Valley, weighing 305 pounds, the Undertaker. What is Death Valley? Arbrin? The six foot five, 290 pound champion Batista facing off against the 6'10", 300 pound challenger, The Undertaker. This isn't just a world championship matchup. This is about history and legacy. If Batista wins, he makes history. If The Undertaker wins, his incredible legacy grows even more amazing. Batista is intent on ending the streak tonight, JR. His focus tonight is the key for him. Many superstars have tried to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and none The Undertaker finding his groove against the powerhouse World Heavyweight Champion Batista. Well, Batista has a real chip on his shoulder. He thinks he deserves all the accolades the WWE has to offer. Well, that may be true, King, but this is the ultimate proving ground, battling The Undertaker at WrestleMania. The dead man has Batista reeling. He has the champion in trouble. This must be part of Batista's master plan, JR, to let The Undertaker oh, no. punch himself out. Well, King, Not that's the most Batista bomb. For the majority of his championship reign has fed off the energy of the fans. But tonight, the fans are not supporting him. Well, oh, a mixed major. reaction for a number of reasons, JR. Man, oh man, that's gotta hurt. I didn't know. Oh, I, sh I should have hit the Batista. So hit Batista with Undertaker's bomb. Do it. Look at him yeah. block the attack. Well, I still gotta hit him with the last one. Big suplex arching the back. Boy, there's no way he's gonna be able to stand after that. Oh my god. 
knows what impact. He almost got the shaft, and then bam! What a reversal! Hey, wait a minute, what's the bam? Look at the sinister eyes of The Undertaker. Look at this! He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. That hand had a lot of force behind it. Undertaker looking to make some more. It's time to go for the last ride. The crowd's on their feet. Time to go for the Batista. That was easy. Is over. Here is your winner and new world heavyweight champion, The Undertaker. 15 and 0. 15 and 0 at WrestleMania. And none bigger than what The Undertaker has accomplished tonight. The Undertaker wanted that title. He wanted Batista. Who's next? WrestleMania 23, John Cena versus the Showstopper. This is what our business is all about. No matter what the odds, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, the Showstopper is back. Nobody has ever outperformed Shawn Michaels in a big match situation. My name is John Cena, the WWE Champion, and I am right here, here. Tension is in the air. HBK, you have had opportunity after opportunity to kick Cena's head right off his shoulders, and you didn't do it. Do it. Nobody tells the Heartbreak Kid when to deliver sweet chin music. I do it when I want, and I do it when you least expect it. My God, Michaels just kicked Cena's head off. John Cena, hold on tight, because the Heartbreak Kid is going to take you to the top of the mountain. One man will have his hand high. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. One man will proudly say, Mr. WrestleMania, the champ has arrived. It is here. It don't get no bigger than this. Okay, I'm gonna do this, man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Does this look like a good match? A very good match. Apato. Wow. 
my time is up, my time is now. You can't see me, my time is now. I'm just throwing sound when I'm grinding now. You can't see me, my time is now. Like, like your shell up. It's gonna be John Cena versus Shawn Michaels. And I never thought that I would see these two superstars face off at a WrestleMania. HBK won a triple threat match against Randy Orton and Edge on Monday Night Raw to become the number one contender. And then HBK ran in to help John Cena when Rated RKO were just about to beat him down. Then Orton played that video showing how Cena can't trust Shawn Michaels. That H John Cena finding his mark on HBK. Cena using his tremendous strength advantage to make up for his comparative lack of experience. The enziguri on the WWE Champion. John Cena looks to be out on his feet. Oh, this doesn't look good, JR. Good God Almighty. Michaels with that springboard moonsault catching Cena on our announce table. HBK will do whatever it takes to be the WWE Champion. I mean, they don't call him Mr. WrestleMania for nothing. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Did you hear how his leg connected? He reversed it, and his attack missed it. Cena countered it. Taking him back into the ring here. Oh, and a nice elbow. Bam, and the knuckles connect. Boy, he was able to reverse and get out of that. Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. Bam. Bam. The punch connects. Oh, mama. Cena looking for something big. Big power bomb. Uh-oh. John Cena may be kicking it into another gear. Just one heartbeat quicker on that exchange. Shawn Michaels is a master at playing the game. Just when you think you have HBK on the ropes, he always finds a way to come back. Oh, you can't let up when you're facing HBK. If you get him down, stay on him. Many an opponent has had Shawn Michaels on the ropes, and many of them have made the mistake of letting up, of letting their guard down. And that's when HBK tunes up the band and delivers sweet chin music. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. And Cena wrenches with nowhere to go. Great hold being applied. John Cena has stepped into the ring at WrestleMania 23 and has taken the heartbreak kid to the limit. The current WWE Champion has stepped up to the first ever Grand Slam Champion and has proved that he deserves to wear the WWE Championship gold. HBK, one of the most, if not the most, decorated superstars in WWE history, might be seeing his hopes of regaining the WWE Championship slipping away. Well, the Heartbreak Kid might be the best to ever lace up his boots, but maybe not tonight. There's no doubt Shawn Michaels hoping to rattle Cena's cage here in the early going. Based on experience alone, Shawn Michaels has a tremendous advantage. Well, JR, when you're competing in the main event at WrestleMania, you gotta prepare for this match. You gotta think this match out in your head probably a hundred, no, maybe even a thousand times. And I can assure you that this is not what Cena thought would be happening at this point in the match. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> An inside out clothesline. Watch it. He looks fired up here. Well, I think he wants to put him through that table. One. Two. On that table, not where you want to be. Back 
into the ring now. Well, this is another example. Oh, oh man. Jeez. One more time in case you missed it. Cena's in trouble. Three. Don't think I won't kill Michaels reverses it. Four. Back into the ring now. And the impact. And down he goes. Man, oh, man. What an impact from that kick. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Oh, the patented right hand of Cena. Man, that one rocked him. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. If he keeps delivering clotheslines like that, he's going to break his arm. Hey, he's going for it again. Oh, submission. The whole there's no escaping this. Oh. Oh. And that's why you never trade punches for Cena. Tremendous reversal. And did you hear the impact on that kick? He's really going for it now. And a kick. Baby, that was harsh. Hope we can get up after that one. Look at him unloading with the Dez Press. John Cena saying, you can't see me. Look at this. Cena's feeling it again. You can't see me. In this match. Hey, he's going for it again. Look at this, it's locked in. This is such a painful hold. Tap out. There we go. Shut the fuck up. The old fat lady said, Here is your winner and still WWE champion, John Cena. Shawn Michaels defeated at the hands of John Cena. And John Cena is still okay, that's the, the end of it.